Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabori here. Since I reviewed DreamWorks' Monsters vs. Aliens, uh, the 3D and 2D CGI animated feature that's a sci-fi comedy today on Halloween, because I love this movie and it definitely works for it, I decided to review their Halloween special. I'm not going to review the second one, which was Night of the Living Carrots. Um, that's going to put on hold. Or possibly I might review it on November, but who knows. But I felt like October would have been perfect. Yeah, it's just I didn't have much time. Because Halloween's almost over. But I'm going to review this special called Monsters vs. Aliens, Mutant Pumpkins from Outer Space. Yeah. Which aired on NBC on October 28th, 2009. I actually did tape this special when it aired. And it was worth it. They do have this on Blu-ray that's part of the DreamWorks uh, Scared Shrek list that includes those two Shrek shorts to join in. It does have Night of the Living Carrots included too. They also have it on DVD that's available. And they also have it on streaming which is on Netflix. So that's where I watched it. <laughs> and I thought this would be perfect for it. Um, it's a story about in Modesto, California, where in the pumpkin patch, uh, the UFO suddenly appears, you know, shooting all this goo that eventually all the, the pumpkins in the pumpkin patch had came alive and they started to grow a, a larger, started to become a creature that's going to eat all the Halloween candy enough to grow in larger or even worse too large so now they're going to be <laughs> attacking uh, especially uh, during Halloween nights you know while Susan's parents are about to set up for their Halloween party and everyone's invited while they're going out for trick-or-treating <laughs> yeah, Susan as well as the monsters are about to arrive and also in case if there's trouble going around <laughs> they're going to probably save the day or night. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I forgot to mention that uh, there is a score that's done by Henry Jackman. Uh, yeah, Harry. Uh, yeah, Henry Jackman, uh, which almost sounds similar to uh, Danny Elfman's score. You know, give us this creepy, uh, eerie vibe to it, sort of in the tradition of those '50s uh, sci-fi movies. So it kind of works so well. And then I guess you're going to spot some movie references in, in here and there. And this special will do the same too. <laughs> okay, well, let, let's get to it. It stars Reese Witherspoon, Seth Rogen, Hugh Laurie, Will Arnett, Kiefer Sullivan, Rain Wilson, Jeffrey Tambor, Julie White, Conrad Vernon, Jimmy Kimball. Yes, that's right. Uh, Jimmy Kimball. The, the comedian from The Man Show, as well as his late night talk show <laughs> that's on ABC. Yeah. Which uh, Dytel, Walt Dorm, Susan Fizzer, Ava Kelly, Andrea Montana Nall, Latifa Olau, and Peter Ramsey. It's written by Adam F. Goldberg, um, who also wrote uh, the TV show The Goldbergs. And, of course, it's directed by Peter Ramsey. And, of course, based on Monsters vs. Aliens that was created by Combat Vernon and Rob Letterman. The special begins during one night uh, when a mysterious UFO had appeared, dropping up some strange green goo into a large pumpkin patch field that Farmer Jeb owns. Suddenly, Farmer Jeb had arrived to investigate until he was attacked and captured by something lurking in the field. On Halloween, Susan Murphy, also known as Genormica, joining in with her monster friends Dr. Cockroach, PhD, Bob, and the Missing Link, are about to prepare to get ready for Halloween celebrations. Unfortunately, Dr. Cockroach had bad childhood memories uh, during that one Halloween night when just when he was getting his favorite candy, the Swirly Pop, that suddenly got smashed by a bunch of bullies. So, 
Unfortunately, he despised that holiday for years. The monster's prospect of Halloween, however, is being cut short when General W.F. Monger had told them that the aliens had been detected in Modesto, California. Yeah, it's always Modesto. <laughs> so they ordered them to investigate. Well, at Farmer's Jeb's Patch, all the pumpkins had mysteriously been given away for free, with one family taking the largest one that the son names Wicked Jack. That night, the monsters visit uh, Susan's parents because they're already preparing themselves for the Halloween party that everyone's going to be invited to, uh, after trick-or-treating <laughs> for all the kids around because they already have, have been eccentrically preparing for Halloween for, for uh, a couple weeks. <laughs> so Susan investigates the patch while the other monsters are investigating the suburbs for aliens. Dr. Cockroach uses a scanner to, on various people around just to make sure. Uh, while the missing link is about to scare people. However, Bob was about to try to get some candy. But if he gets the words uh, trick or treat, uh, especially when he's like standing on the porch of this old lady's house while trying to give him some Halloween candy. Uh, but Dr. Cockroach had arrived on the scene just trying to, you know, rekindle uh, his uh, pressure. And at this rate, uh, the old lady just gave him his favorite candy, the Swirly Pop. So he loves it. But Bob, unfortunately, doesn't get any. <laughs> accidentally. However, so therefore, all the pumpkins had came to life as a result of the saturation of the green goo. And Susan discovers that she did locate it, uh, Farmer Jeb already captured inside the barn after she was investigating. As all the pumpkins in the suburbs attack the children around, Dr. Cockroach, the missing link, and Bob had come to their defense, in which Dr. Cockroach discovers that the pumpkins themselves can grow a lot bigger and then larger just by eating candy. Yeah, all the Halloween candy that they have that the children got and they're going to start to become an, a ginormous uh, creature that's even the bigger, even more bigger than Janormica herself. <laughs> so of course now we have the giant Wicked Jack and his head straight forward to the Murphy's house which has the most candy around due to Bob's uh, bungling around. <laughs> so of course Dr. Cockroach along with Link, Bob and the rest of the children are rally against the pumpkins just before Susan had finally arrived to Normica to defeat Wicked Jack and she did of course I mean everyone else was were all defeating them and they're getting up. Yeah, they even use, uh, you know, a Gatling gun platform that's built by Dr. Cockroach to shoot all the candies. And they're trying to distract him completely. Um, and of course, even Susan sucker punch uh, Wicked Jax's face too. Uh, just when the Butterfly Saurus had appeared, <laughs> dressed up as uh, Elvis. <laughs> Of course, General W.F. Monger had arrived too, just to see what's going on. And and now, um, when they finally destroyed Wicked Jack, all the candy had finally appeared, even the swirly pop that Dr. Cockroach wanted. Unfortunately, gave it to the young girl, but that's okay. You know, he's being nice and generous. So Susan's parents admit that they'll get to used to sharing her with the world, because I know she won't be able to have time to... To visit her parents or even stay over but that's because you know she's a giant but nevertheless you know she always have some time no matter what of course even the single pumpkin is still alive but already been smashed so <laughs> but at this point on there's going to be a follow-up to the special which is going to be night of the living carrots yeah so that's why we have these carrots arriving onto the garden <laughs> after this one got smashed because of the goo. <laughs>
very awesome Halloween special and definitely worth it. Um, I mean, if you love uh, Monsters vs. Aliens, uh, the movie, I mean, this is perfect. I guess we all felt Dr. Cockroach's pain, you know, having to lose his favorite candy by a bunch of bullies. I mean, I, I'm sure every kid felt the same way when they had their favorite candies that's being smashed by them. Yeah, it's like, wow. It just ruins the experience of what Halloween's all about. But it's not just that. <laughs> It could be anything else. There are hilarious moments here and there. Uh, there's even scenes too with all the kids, you know, just you know, with all these costumes and all of any character that they love. Uh, of course, it was even funnier when the monsters themselves were going trick or treating just just to check. And you know, <laughs> uh, even one of the kids were actually dressing up exactly like Doctor Cockroach, Bob, and the missing link. So <laughs> now they know. And it was even more funnier when uh, even this one kid who was dressed up as Dr. Cockroach <laughs> sort of dressed up like like he was his assistant. So he kind of helped around <laughs> uh, when Dr. Cockroach uh, created that uh, gazer gun. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Yeah. Animation is very stunning, too, um, just like before with the original film. I mean, it almost gives it a 3D vibe, even though it isn't a 3D. And like Monsters vs. Aliens, um, both of them uh, had terrific story elements in there. So it really shows that it's not just a gimmick. It really works. And it really shows. It definitely would have worked well for the sequel, but still. <laughs> um, there's a lot of movie references. Uh, they even had the Halloween theme included too, but it was a ringtone from a cell phone of, of this random person. A lot of memorable moments too, <laughs> with uh, Susan and the monsters themselves, and here and there. The creature of Wicked Jack. Um, yep, just as as creepy as ever. <laughs> And um, it was really cool. I um, really enjoyed it. It's, um, for only 27 minutes long, it, it's worth it. The, the voice acting, you know, of all the rest of the cast, as you may have been familiar with from the movie, are incredible. And they really lend their voices very well for these characters. So check this out. Um, yeah, you can watch this on Netflix. It's available. Or you can just buy it on DVD or Blu-ray and just have fun. And also, you know, <laughs> watch it with your whole family. Um, especially on Halloween nights. Or heck, even watch it on <laughs> while having a Halloween party uh, with your friends and family. <laughs> so anyway. So it kind of seems like in the tradition of those other, you know, 50s... Um, sci-fi horror films, maybe even 60s ones too. And I guess it, you could probably say this is like something out of uh, George A. Romero or any other. But this is kind of a very intriguing idea. <laughs> anyway, that's Monsters vs. Aliens, Moon Pumpkins from Outer Space, and I give the special five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora. Have a happy Halloween. I'll see you later. Bye.